Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. James Harden lives up to hype in Philadelphia debut as 76ers route Minnesota Timberwolves Minneapolis. After a night in which James Harden and the Philadelphia 76ers COULDNT have played better together, beating the Minnesota Timberwolves 133-102 in his debut with his new team, the superstar guard took aim at the suggestion he is a bad teammate. I don't know why, Harden said. That is the media that says that. I feel like I am one of the best teammates that the NBA has seen, on the court and off the court. Just because the current situation happened, whatever happened, happened, it doesn't mean I am a bad teammate. Me personally, I feel like I just needed to do what is best for my career and help myself be happy. Harden looked awfully happy on the floor Friday night, finishing with 27 points, 8 rebounds and 12 assists to become the first player with at least 25 points and 12 assists in his first game with three different teams. It was a dream debut for Harden and the 76ers, 36-23, who did what they wanted to the Timberwolves, 32-29. They blew the game open in the second half with Chris passing, a steady dose of Harden and Joel Embiid pick and rolls and the Sixers hitting 19 of 39 shots from behind the three-point line thanks to creating so many wide-open looks. Afterward, Harden made it clear it was just the beginning of what he hopes will end with Philadelphia's first NBA championship in almost four decades. For sure, Harden said when asked if he has a point to prove in Philadelphia. We all do. Tonight was a great start. But we've a got a long way to go, and we'll all do whatever it takes every single day to build great habits so we are prepared when the time is right. Those habits will begin and end with the partnership between Harden and Embiid, which looked to be in mid-season form in their first game together. The Timberwolves, who lead the league in fouls per game, might have been the perfect opponent to exploit for Harden and Embiid, two of the league's best at drawing fouls. Not surprisingly, they went to the line a combined 22 times. Harden's step-back jumper was on full display Friday night, when he made four of them, including two on which he drew and one fouls to produce four-point plays. And while Harden and Embiid's pick-and-roll partnership looked clunky at times, it created one wide-open shot after another for their teammates and each other. It was great, Embiid said. Like I said, it never happened at any point in my career, to that level. As you know I've always had to create for myself. But it is not just about me. It is also about our team. All the attention that he attracts or I do, it is going to make our teammates better, and that is the goal, because we can T-win alone. We're going to need all of them. It is about giving them that confidence, because when we get to the playoffs, we're going to need them. One of those other players who looked to have supreme confidence was Therese Maxi, who had 28 points on 12 for 16 shooting. Maxi had been serving as Philadelphia's point guard all season in the absence of Ben Simmons and impressed with his speed and quickness. Those qualities were on display repeatedly Friday night, as Maxi got wherever he wanted on the court for open floaters and layups by knifing through the defense at will. He even knocked down a couple of catch and shoot three pointers, both of which came with him completely wide open due to the defense collapsing on both of Philadelphia's stars. Yeah. It has too, 76ers coach Doc Rivers said when asked if playing alongside Embiid and Harden will make life easier for everyone else. You have Joel Embiid and James Harden on the floor, and they are gonna draw a lot of attention. All we talked about in this day and a half, two days, is spacing and being ready when the ball comes. And I thought our guys overall did that. Maxi admitted he was thrilled to now be on Harden's side, as opposed to having to try to stop him. He laughed as he described the experience of guarding Harden's step back, saying you just have to shrug when you touch him and he gets a foul. I mean, that comes because of his ability to pass the ball, Maxi said of Harden. They are so worried about his passing and they are laying off and now he is creating for himself. So he is a talent, 
and I just appreciate his hard work and his communication and his dedication. With Harden now on the court, Rivers had a chance to demonstrate whether he would follow through on his vow of staggering his four best offensive players, Embiid, Harden, Tobias Harris and Maxi, as well as having at least one of Harden and Maxi on the floor at all times. The logic was sound, as it would allow the 76ers to maximize their offense for as much of the game as possible. But it also is something Rivers has typically shied away from in the past. True to his word, however, Rivers started Friday night's game doing just that. His